Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how I use the internal sequencer on an Insonic TS-12. You on the Hank Coffee YouTube channel, man? Yeah! Hey, what's going on? So here you are with your TS-12. Kick it on. And this is the first sound. <laughs> I'm going to be talking kind of fast in this video, guys, so I don't have to jump cut it. So just uh, try to stay along. I'm going to be jumping around everywhere. The way this thing is set up is it's got a sequence mode. It's got a preset mode, which is layered sounds. And then you have the actual sounds. This button changes through banks. We, each mode has banks and selections. So here are sounds. Right now it's in sound mode. Just selected full body. It's a piano. Here's the banks. And here's the pages in the bank. These are all just different sounds. But anyways, this isn't to show you how to use the TS-12. You wanna use the sequencer. So what we're gonna do, go to sequence mode, and I already have some stuff stored in here, but you're gonna to wanna to select blank because we're making a new sequence. Blank, it's gonna say create new song or sequence. We're gonna do sequence. Song is how you can string together sequences, but I never mess with that. I always just do sequence just to have fun. So we're gonna create sequence. Right here you can name it. Left and right moves the cursor and this data entry moves the digits. So you could go through here and peck along and name your thing. You know, name your sequence. We're just gonna call it <laughs> So create, hit yes. Boom, it's gonna ask you time signature 4-4. Four, four. Yes. Right here, we're back at the sequence bank or whatever you call it. Uh, this is it's selected and hit play, it's empty, okay? This is the sound they started us out with. So what we're gonna wanna do, this controls the sequencer, these buttons. You can have 12 different tracks or sounds. We wanna see sound one through six. These are all blank but it's got a go-to or go-to for the sound that it threw right there. We don't, I don't want that. So right here is a button where you can change the sound, replay sound, whatever. And then over here, it brought us to the sounds section. We're not in sound mode, but now I can change the sound of part one in the sequencer. Let's just go with that. So there's a sound. Okay, over here, sequencer control brings you to the main sequencer window here. It's gonna ask you all kinds of questions like, well, tempo, let's change this tempo. 120 is default. Let's bring it down to like, what, 88 at 90, whatever. So the click's going by internal and it's not synced with anything. Record mode replace, meaning that when you hit record, it's going to write over anything that's on that track. You can add um, dub and different stuff, whatever, blah, blah. We're just wanting to get going with the sequencer. Auto punch off, loop on. Over here, click. The stuff in teal, I believe, is for the sequencer. Over here in the click, it says click's going to be on while we're recording. Tempo 90. It's going to give us a count off. There is no track started. So what happens is on your very first track, when you're done and you want it to loop, you have to hit stop. And then the machine will automatically figure out how many beats you want it to loop. What we're going to do is play a part. I guess it's going to be, what, four bars? And then I hit stop. And then it's going to say, hey, is this okay? And then from then on, everything in this sequence will be that amount. I hope you're following me so far. <laughs> So here's the sound we got. When you want to record, you hold record and press play. Gives you a count off. Hit stop. Keep first track. It determined it being four bars. That is correct. Yes. Boom. Now we have track one down. Now we can hit play.
Okay, that's what we just played. Now, one thing I do to cheat a little bit is you can go over here. We're going to edit this track that we just recorded. It's saying track one. I know this gets a little confusing. You'll get used to it. Edit track. And then over here brings up a selection of things you can do. You can erase track, shift, copy, blah, 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 blah. more, quantize. Hit quantize. Uh, right now, it's set to 1 16th. You can change it by moving this data slider. Let's try eighth notes. <laughs> the T means triplets. So yes, I just quantized it to eighth notes. Now let's play it and see what it sounds like. That's not gonna work. So we want to go back to the original track. This is play original track keep original track, which is the one before I quantized it. Play new track, which is the quantized one. Keep new track. <clears throat> if you want to keep the quantized, there's that. We want to go back to the original unquantized version. Edit track, back to quantize. Eighth notes is too, uh, too tight. We need to go to 16th. Data slider, 16th notes, yes. It just quantizes it to 16th to see what the new track sounds like. We're going to keep that track. Go back to our parts, one through six. There's the part we just recorded. We're going to go to the next part. This is your track two, basically, in the sequencer. It automatically throws the same patch down right here, which we don't want. So we're going to go over here, see how this is selected with the underline under it. Go over here, replace track sound. Now it brings me back over here temporarily to the sound banks, just to select the sound for the sequencer. So... We need some kind of drums. We're on ROM bank three for the sounds. Back here <laughs> is the 808s and stuff. These are some drums. Let's go to an 808. Selected 808. I'm doing all this in one hand, guys. I'm just testing stuff out right here. Okay, let's try to go with that. Hold record, play, gives you the count off. It's automatically looping it for you. We just recorded that. And it's going to ask you, what do you want to do with it? If you screwed up and wanted to start over, you can just hit keep original track, which was blank. We just played new track, keep new track, which is what we just recorded. Now, you see how it says track two selected now? It's just, autom we're automatically on two unless we go change it. Edit track, quantize. Let's try 16 notes. Yes. Now let's try it, play the quantize version. to keep that parts one through six it's showing we got track one two here's track three of the sequencer it put me at 808 back over here again and that's cool because damn that's loud i'm gonna try to do some symbols with one hand here all right let's do it <laughs> hold record play the count in I don't know what kind of timing that was. Let's keep that. Let's see if I can quantize it in because I was lagging behind. Okay, we kept that track three. That's the symbols. Edit track, quantize. 
Let's try 16th notes. You see the same pattern repeating itself here, guys. Let's quantize it and play the new track. Play the quantize track. <laughs> it's got some hiccups in it. We'll just keep it. The hell with it. Here's our tracks one through six. Here's the three parts we just did. Let's start a new part. Undefined means it's blank. So right now we got three of the 12 tracks taken up. Let's do undefined. It's putting me at 808 there again, but we've... Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let's mess with something here. <laughs> Let's throw that down on there. Let's see what... Well, how can this go? All right, let's do that, let's do that. Hold record, hit play. It's gonna give you the four count in. Where was that sound? Right there. <laughs> Cute new track edit track now you don't have to quantize everything once i get the foundation down a lot of stuff i don't quantize especially the stuff that's slow to attack in um it doesn't sound right if you quantize it because there's lag whereas if you play it whatever blah 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 we're gonna quantize to 16th notes yes all right let's let's see how that sounds Dude, this thing is awesome. Anytime you want to, you can do these teal things to navigate around, sequencer control, this is the main. Locate brings you to where you're actually at. So yeah, you can just mess with it. Parts one through six, we got four parts so far. Now let's go to the next empty one. This would be track five. They put me the eight eight there just because that was the last song we were on. Replace track sound, and here we are where the sounds are again. This is going to the ROM, such and such different banks. Temple Bell, what's that? Glockenspiel. Look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> okay, so you just screwed up, right? Hit stop. Keep original track, which was blank. Boom, we're back out of it. Where was I at? Oh, I was right here. I don't know how to play keyboards, guys. <laughs> right there, okay, okay, okay. Record, play, two, three, four. Gonna keep that, edit this track, quantize, 16th, let's roll with it. Okay, we should probably really wrap this up. You could just keep going. There's like 12 parts here, okay? Let's do one more instrument. We press the next blank one, go ahead and spiel again. We're gonna change that. Replace track sound back where the town the sounds are. Blah blah blah. Um, I don't want that kind of sound. Yeah, let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. This would be the last track, just for time's sake of the video, guys. Two, three, four. keep what we just played uh should we quantize it let's let's do it to see what it sounds like okay we're gonna keep
keep that quantized version. So there you go. Now, one thing you can do after you do this, this goes back to your parts. We only used one through six, seven through 12 still empty. You could just keep going and layering one through six. And I'll check this out. You hit one through six again, and this brings you to a MIDI volume level of each track. This is what's selected for you to change. You can press it twice and it mutes that part. If you press it twice fast, it solos that part. Play it. Okay, all the volumes are zeroed out. And you can sit here and mix. I've done the same thing on the, uh, I've done, <laughs> done the same thing on a quasi MIDI board I got. This is just what I do, chilling. Press it again, goes back to the part names. Sequencer control brings you back to the main page. Locate will bring you to the page that's showing you what's going on with the sequencer. All right. One through six. Let's go back to the parts. Muting everything. I'm selecting the part, unmuting it, selecting the part, unmuting it, selecting, unmuting, selecting. Okay, that's in the thing's memory. Now what I'll do real quick is I'll show you guys some sequences I did a little earlier. Here's Hanko one. Now when you try to change to a different sequence, it asks you if you want to save changes. And we'll say yes. Now when you do this, here's your uh, sequence mode. These are going through the different pages. So these can all be saved sequences that you created. <clears throat> I just happen to still be on zero here. I haven't put a lot in here yet. So here's Hank one selected because the lines are under it. That soloed it, the double tap. One click of bring it out. Two, three, four. Okay, okay, let's, let's get out of this. That's Hank one that I created. Let's go over here to Hank two. Do I wanna save changes to Hank one? No, because I didn't wanna save the edit. Here's Hank two that I created a little earlier. This is tight, man. 
I know it's simple, but I just love the way it sounds. <laughs> so there you have it that is how you use the internal sequencer on an insonic ts keyboard hope you like the video and i'll see you guys later subscribe